Hi there, this is Jonathan Ginsberg, and today I'd like to talk to you about your work history form and the documentation you submit to Social Security about your past work. And of course, Social Security is notorious for asking you to fill out literally dozens of forms, and I question sometimes whether anybody really reads these forms. But one of the forms that actually does get, re does get read and is very important when you get to a hearing is your work history form. Because realize that when you get to a hearing on almost every case, the judge will have a vocational witness. The vocational witness is there to describe your past work and to answer questions about the, by the judge about what you might be able to do, both in terms of your past work and any other work. And one of the concepts involved in talking about past work is something called transferable skills. So it will help the judge understand what skills you have that might transfer to something else and what you have done. It also gives the judge a sense of whether you have a good, solid, long work history or whether or not you've gone from job to job. So it's worth spending a little bit of time on your work history. Now realize that Social Security disability at its core is about your capacity to perform work. So information about your past work and the things you did in that past, past work are obviously very important to a Social Security decision maker, a judge, or an adjudicator. So again, it's worth spending a little bit of time on this. Um, I would also tell you that the official book that Social Security uses to classify jobs in terms of their physical requirements as well as their cognitive requirements is a very outdated resource. It's something called the Dictionary of Occupational Titles. It's also called the DOT. And this was last updated like 20 and 30 years ago. I mean, I think there's, there's, some, uh, there's some listings in the DOT that are back from the 1970s. And so a lot of jobs that exist now uh, are clearly not properly defined in the DOT. So, for example, the DOT may define a particular job as being sedentary or sit down um, with a uh, unskilled type of work background required, whereas in 2015-2016, uh, um, when you did it, uh, that job may have required you to lift 15 or 20 pounds, or that job may have required a college education. So it's really important to explain to the judge what you did, the job requirements, and how it worked in your particular case, so that when the judge uh, listens to your testimony, he can make the necessary assumptions when talking to the, to the vocational witness. So, for example, if the vocational witness classified your job as uh, sem sedentary and unskilled, when in fact you did it, it was uh, semi-skilled and light, uh, the judge might ask the vocational witness to give him a dis different classification that is more equivalent to what you actually did. Um, so having a good, clear understanding of what you did, uh, what I always tell my clients to do is to make a list of the jobs they did in chronological order. I can sometimes help with that because I can download from the Social Security website once I get access to it uh, all the employment records. It'll give the names of the employers, which sometimes will, will kind of clue you in as to uh, where you worked in particular dates. Uh, but I also like to submit prior to the hearing an updated work history form that really documents what my client did, the job title, the name of the employer, uh, so that it's very, very clear to both the judge and the vocational witness what you did, how much you lifted, what the mental requirements were, the other physical requirements, so that everybody's on the same page. There's nothing worse than to get a judge issuing a decision that says you could go back to your past work, something called a stage four denial, when in fact there's no way you could go back to your past work because it's, as it's performed now is much different than what's shown in the DOT. So that's a reason to pay some attention to it. And big picture for you is you want to spend some time with your lawyer discussing what you did so that, again, everybody's on the same page regarding your past work history. I hope this has been helpful. Um, if it is, please give it a thumbs up on uh, YouTube and like it on Facebook if you saw it there. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, like our, our Facebook page. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, this or any other videos I've done, please let me know. And if you have any suggestions about future videos I might be able to do, uh, please let me know. I'd like to try to incorporate that into uh, some of the future recordings I do. So for now, this is Jonathan Ginsberg, and thank you very much.